Hi guys, welcome back to Cards TV. This is Mary, and today we're going to make a card that can be used for a Mother's Day card, a thinking of you, a birthday card, just so many uses for this card, a get well card. We'll be using the Cards TV Card Kit and Caboodle, sketch number 8. We'll use some papers from this Echo Park 6x6 paper pad called Homegrown, and it's got really cute papers in there. We'll use the Cricut Country Life cartridge and Elegant Edges. And for our sentiment, I'm going to make this a Mother's Day card, so we'll be using Happy Mother's Day, and this is from the new Mini Messages set, and this set's got everything on it, guys. Happy birthday, happy anniversary, congratulations, happy new year, happy Valentine's Day, God bless you, I love you, happy St. Patrick's Day, happy Easter, thank you, congrats, welcome baby, happy wedding day, happy 4th of July, Merry Christmas, warmest wishes, happy holidays, happy Thanksgiving, thanks so much, oh baby, good luck with sympathy, thinking of you happy halloween happy mother's day so thankful it's your day and happy father's day so you can see this has got lots and lots of sentiments on here and they're just the right size for a tag or a little small area on your card or you can use several of these on your card if you want to put a lot of little banners we'll do that one one day i've got sketch number eight from the Cards TV Card Kit and Caboodle Card Sketch Series. And there are 19 sketches right now, guys. They'll soon be 20. And these are free to download. Just go to my blog, cardstv.blogspot.com, and you can download any or all of them so that you'll have them handy if you get stumped and you need a card sketch. And here I've got my kit in the envelope. And that's what we do with the card kit and caboodle. We go ahead and take a sketch, cut our pieces, and put it back in the envelope and have it ready for when we want to make a card. So that way we can make a card in practically minutes and just have some banners uh, stamped with different sentiments and you're good to go. Now we've got a navy blue card base and we look right here and this is four and a quarter by five and a half. Then we have a mat that's four by five and a quarter and this is that pretty little flowered mat. I love this. It's got so many pretty little spring flowers. That will go on next. This mat right here is an inch and a half by five and a quarter. And I love the navy blue stripes with this paper and with the card base. And then this little border is a half an inch by five and a quarter. And this is a pretty green print. Looks like it has light green background with a little bit darker green leaves. That will go right here. I'll grab my ATG gun and I'll get all this adhered down. I am just in love with this paper pad. It's got such pretty papers and they all coordinate beautifully. Now, I've got a rectangle on mine, but for what I'm putting on here today, I decided I wanted a scalloped oval. So I went to the Elegant Edges cartridge, and on page 23, I cut this one. It's a scalloped oval, and it's oblong, and I cut it out of white, and I ran this through the Cuddlebug Swiss Dots embossing folder, and for the shadow, I came right down here and hit shift and shadow and I cut the shadow for my oval out of some more of that navy blue. So I'm going to get these adhered together and I don't want to put this at an angle like this rectangle is. I just want that straight just like that. And I'm going to pop this up on some foam tape as well. I've got my two mats on there and I've got them popped up for some dimension. Next, I went to the Country Life cartridge, and I love this cartridge, guys. I haven't used it very much, but it's got some of the cutest images in it. But for this one, I wanted this 
pitcher with these pretty little spring flowers in it and you will cut the back of the pitcher and then the top layer and these three little dots are for the inside of the flowers they're very tiny so I wouldn't even bother with those because I'm going to put pearls on mine. And then you've got your f three flowers on layer one and layer two. And if you want to, you can cut the shadow. And that's right down here. But here is mine. And I think it turned out so pretty. And I did one of the flowers in a navy blue. And I've never really seen a navy blue flower, but it matches the card. <laughs> so I went with it. I've got this on some foam tape, and I'm going to add that right here, and that is so pretty. I just love that. Now, I cut this, uh, the scalloped opals, I cut at three and a quarter inches, and the pitcher and flowers, I did at two and three quarters. Now, for my sentiment, I've cut a little banner. I've used some Memento Tuxedo Black ink, and I used Happy Mother's Day from the new Cards TV Mini Messages stamp set, and this is on foam tape. And I'm going to get this stuck down right here. Here's my finished card. I had some tiny little white pearls that were the perfect size for the center of the flowers. And it wasn't easy, but I got them on here. <laughs> and I'm, I keep pressing them down because I don't want them to come off. But didn't that turn out pretty? I just love that. And you can see this could be a birthday card to get well soon, thinking of you, as well as a Mother's Day card. This is just a good all-occasion card. I think it turned out really, really pretty. And we use sketch number 8 from the Cards TV Card Kit and Caboodle series. So thanks so much for coming by today, guys. I really appreciate you spending some time with me. And I will see you again soon with another card. Bye now.